see a lot of you were Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. I can recognize the steps going by. Um, is there any burning questions that anybody has at this point about anything, the dancing or the attire that any of our dancers are wearing, why they're wearing it? I know a lot of young people when we do these kinds of things. Okay. Are the drummers uh, always mad? Somebody over here. Whoop. Okay, she's going to yell it to me. They sing both. Some of the songs just have the the, um, the chanting, but other songs maybe that are memorials or honor songs, they have words to it. So it can be either or. Okay. Over here. Are, are the singer dancers, are the singer drummers always men? Yep, they can be dancers too. Okay. And the dancers can be singers. But are the drummers always men? Yep. Yeah. Too bad we don't have any um, dancers that are singers because we could make these guys dance too. <laughs> because we have, a, we have a champion right here, the grandfather that's sitting there with one mini, mini contest. He's a grass dancer. And you have to know the thoughts when you dance. Otherwise, how else are you going to stop on time? How does one acquire an evil thought? Very, very important. With the men, they have to earn it. Either as a veteran, as someone who has been in the service of any of the four, the four main branches of service, if he's a wounded veteran, if he's been in combat, he has to earn his feathers because he's a young man. And the women, we go through a very, very um, important ceremony where the women can only give, be given the right to wear an eagle feather by a veteran, more so by a combat veteran, and more more so by a wounded combat veteran. And they will know who it was that gave them the feather, the name, and usually the year. But there's a real, real big ceremony that goes along with this, being given the right to wear an eagle feather. And it is given given to our young ladies. And this is how we teach our young young ladies to be able to re respect those eagle feathers and to respect the men relatives that, that give them the right. So, and you know, there's a lot of things that come to my mind as I'm standing here talking, but um, we only have a few minutes so to make use of that time. Anybody, any other... Questions? Okay, over here or someplace. Oh yeah, no, we can't buy them at Pennies or <laughs> Sears or Target. They're all homemade outfits. So, and then they um, they have a lot of help. We we do it in the winter time. As they say, when the thunder sleeps. Oh yeah. The other thing is, is that I was just, I was just um, reminded that we do not call our attire costumes. <laughs> they're they're tribal tribal dress or you know dance clothes or anything except costumes. So this is another learning experience. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? We are going to do another song with audience participation. Partners to come up. And the dancers who don't have partners, you guys have to go find one out in the audience. Grab a partner, come out here, and we're going to do the two-step. Okay?